I had a dream that I was walking kind of like along this beach and I had a sense in my dream that I uh, felt somebody walking next to me. It was that night when I was sitting in church, all I can feel was my body shaking as the Nathan was preaching. And it was like a very dominant word that he just spoke and he said, there's people in here that has destiny. There's people here that God, God has called you and your walls are gonna break down. I was on the floor um, weeping. And as I was weeping, I saw myself in my dream again and I saw Chuk. I saw myself flying on an airplane and landing in Chuk. I feel like there was the Holy Spirit just moving in me. He said, this is where I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take you to places that uh, it was taken away from you. I was raised by my grandparents, my grandfather. One of the things that he really emphasized in our life is God, church, and going to school. <laughs> Maybe the white ones can represent negative numbers. My passion is to become a teacher. He wants us to number four, too. I was kind of struggling during second semester. My daughter got diagnosed with epilepsy, uh, Caesar. And I was taking care of my mom at the same time. I was falling behind on my classes and I began to feel discouraged in my school. And so I just say, okay, never mind. I'm going to quit. I can't handle it. Can you see? There you go. There you go. Okay, you got it. Okay. The second year came, they called me up prior to school start and they say, hey, we just want to let you know that you got offered two scholarship. I went online and I checked and I saw, whoa, I got two extra scholarship. I kind of like, okay, wait a minute, God, what is it that you really want me to do? Because uh, it seems like you have a bigger plan for me, but I, I'm not expecting to go that big. Well, I'll email you. Can you do that? <laughs> yeah, that okay. might be easiest. Right? Okay. It okay. grew my understanding of exactly what I want to be. It's very disrespecting in the family when, as a female, you have a child and you don't have a husband. Being a single mother with two kids, I feel so shame to my family. As a Chukis, you know, you have such a respect for the man, the family. I think that's one of the main impact that as women, as Chukis, we, yeah, we struggle. We're gonna touch bases on how do we turn to God? Yeah. Life group is you get to spend time with the ladies, people that you know them from church or from your community. That whoever believe, yeah? I think that's a really good one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And Today is all single mom. That is one of the biggest impact in my life because I went through as a single mom. And uh, I can imagine what they're going through too. One thing that they really emphasize in our life group as a leader is, you know, you're not there to tell them what to do. You're there just to support them, listen to them. Not many women would be willing to open up their stories in public. And so our church, that's what they really like about life group because you get to get to know them very well. You find a place where they will feel comfortable sharing what they're going through. Open his eyes. Yeah, open the eyes. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Being that leader for these ladies, it's teaching me to know how to communicate with them. Through my school, I'm able to know how to communicate. I'm able to know how to relate to their problems. So I believe all of it is kind of connected to uh, my schooling. <laughs>